evaluate square root of 2 times square root of 4 times square root of 8 times square root of 16, and so on. Endless numbers under endless roots. What shall we do? What have we found out? 2, 4, 8, 16. They are the numbers. Oh. 2 is 2 to the power of 1. 4 is 2 to the power of 2. 8 is 2 cubed. 16 is 2 to the power of 4. That means all the numbers are integer powers of 2. Actually, positive integer powers of 2. One of the ideas is to separate the numbers from each other. Okay, so firstly, it is square root of 2. Secondly, square root of square root of 4. Of course, it is a multiplication. It is square root of 2 times square root of square root of 4. And thirdly, square root of square root of square root of 8. Oh my god, 3 square roots. And for 16, there are 4 square roots. Why? Because 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can count the square roots. That's a trick, isn't it? So it's going to look like this. And it's crazy. So on. So now, we know that 1 square root, it means... The thing under the square root to the power of 1 half. So it is 2 to the power of 1 over 2. And under 2 square roots, it is of course 1 over 4. Under 3 square roots, it is 1 over 8. And so on. So we changed all the roots into exponential form. Now we meet a problem. Different exponents, different bases. Oh, he was dirty. I'm sorry. The first one is 2 to the power of 1 over 2. But the second one, 4 to the power of 1 over 4. We know that the nth term is 2 to the power of n, then 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of n. So now, 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2. Then 1 over 4. 8, it can be written as 2 to the power of 3, then 1 over 8. And then it is 2 to the power of 4, to the power of 1 over 16, of course. So now what I'm going to do is to use the exponential operation. a to the power of m or to the power of n is a to the power of m times n. So it is 2 to the power of 1 over 2, the first term, times the second one to the power of 2 times 1 over 4, it is 2 over 4. I'm not going to simplify it, but leave it. Then times 2 to the power of 3 over 8, and then times 2 to the power of 4 over 16. So now you can see that the numerators of the exponents are 1, 2, 3, 4, the denominators are 2, 4, 8, 16. The numerators are algebraic sequence, and the denominators are geometric sequence. Our last step is they have the same basis, 2, so we take 2 for the new base, and the new exponent will be the sum of all the exponents. 1 over 2 plus 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8 plus 4 over 16 plus so on. So now our job is to evaluate the exponent. Now if we suppose that s is the exponent 1 over 2 plus 2 over 4 plus 3 over 8 plus 4 over 16 plus so on. Magic! I like to multiply the both sides by 1 over 2. So the left hand side is 1 over 2s, 
and the right hand side is 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. 2 over 4 times 1 over 2 is 2 over 8. And here it's going to be 3 over 16, and so on. What you are writing in this way? Because therefore, you can see it clearly. You can spot the denominators. The first one is 0, so I'm going to write it as 0 over 2. So now, 1 over 2, 0 over 2, 2 over 4, 1 over 4, 3 over 8, 2 over 8, 4 over 16, 3 over 16. Oh, the denominators are still 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on. However, the numerators, the first number of the sequence is now 0, not 1. So now, so now, subtract the second one from the first equation. The subtraction will be s minus a half s is still 1 over 2 times s. On the right hand side, 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 plus and so on. What is the value of this term? Oh. We don't know. Nothing, nothing will happen. By using the same way, we can multiply a half on the both sides. So it's going to be 1 over 4 times s is equal to 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 4. 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 over 8. 1 over 2 times 1 over 8 is 1 over 16, and so on. The first one is what? Oh, sorry. It is nothing. So, just add a zero here. Now again, subtraction. We're going to get 1 over 2s minus 1 over 4s is 1 over 4s. Why did I use this pen? It's equal to 1 over 2 minus 0, 1 over 2. Because then, 1 over 4 minus 1 over 4, cancel, 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 until, oh, endless. So we get an equation. The exponent times 1 over 4 is equal to 1 over 2. Solve this equation, and we will get s is equal to, what, 2, of course. So now, that means it is 2 to the power of 2. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. The answer is... Four! Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up for this wonderful method. Are you able to solve these two questions? Check out these two videos. They're really fantastic questions with wonderful tricks that you should know. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.